Good day to all of you. In today's class, we will be learning some new things. But before we begin, ask yourself whether you remember all that has been taught to you in the previous classes. Let's do a revision of the previous class. What is color palette? Color box is used to store colors where any color can be used for drawing on sheet and much more. Can you tell why do we use fill with color tool? A tool which looks like a bucket is known as fill with color. Color can be filled anywhere in the sheet by using it. What happens if fill with color is used outside of any image. If all lines of any drawings are not connected to each other and then one uses fill with color inside that drawing, the color gets filled outside of the image on the full sheet. Can you tell which color box will be used with fill with color tool? Whenever we use fill with color, then color box 1 is used. Now, turn on your computer and open your MS Paint file. Let us see what we will learn today. In today's class, all students will learn something about the keyboard. So, do you all know what is a keyboard? Do you know? How and why is the keyboard used? How many keys are there in the keyboard? And what do we call them? And how do we use them? And enter button is used for what? What is the spacebar button used for? Why do we use backspace and delete? Which all keys are known as special keys? And lastly, you will also learn what text tool is used for. Keyboard is used for what? The keyboard is a very important part of a computer. Keyboards have many keys and in a normal keyboard, we may see 101 to 105 keys. If all of you count on your notebook systems, you must be wondering that your keyboard of a notebook computer has only 80 to 85 keys. If you look carefully, you will find that on a number of keys on the keyboard, there are some extra symbols. Such symbols on the keys are also considered to be keys. And now, when we count again, taking into account the symbol keys also, we will find that we have 101 to 105 keys on a normal keyboard. The keyboard helps us in typing, which means that you all use the keys on the keyboard to type out someone's name, a word spelling, counting, etc. The special keys that are there on the keyboard are like enter, delete, spacebar, etc. These keys are used in various places in many ways and you will all learn where they are used in the next slide. The keyboard has keys for alphabets, symbols, arrow keys, and function keys. In this next slide, we will learn about alphabets. Do all of you know what are alphabets? Alphabets are all the letters from A to Z, but you will notice that in the keyboard, the alphabets start with Q and end at M. With the help of the keyboard, we can write down or type any text or paragraph that we wish to write on the computer. Next, 
we will all learn about the number keys and will get to know about what these are. We also call the number key as digit key. Do you all know how many numbers are there and where do they begin from? On the computer keyboard, the numbers begin from 1 and end at 0. Now, if you need to write a number on the computer, what will all of you do? You will press the desired number key just once. If you need to write the number 50, which keys will you press? First, you will press the number key 5 and then the number key 0. Okay? Till now, all of you have learned about alphabets and number keys. Now, we will all learn about special keys. If we leave aside the alphabet keys and the number keys on the keyboard, then all the remaining keys are special keys. Special keys are used for different purposes. Today, we will learn about some of the special keys. And for the rest of the keys, as we go ahead in our class, you will all learn about them also. Look at the picture being shown. Special keys have been marked in red colored boxes. Now, we will learn about the space bar. Can you tell what the spacebar key is used for? The spacebar key is used to leave a space between two words. Just like when you write your first name and your surname or the last name, you leave a space in between. Similarly, when we write on our computer, we will be leaving spaces between two words by using the spacebar. Note that the spacebar key on your computer is the biggest key on the keyboard. Can you tell what backspace is used for while typing? The backspace key is used to erase or delete anything that we have typed by mistake. While typing a sentence, we all tend to make some or the other mistake. So, to erase the wrongly typed in word or alphabet, we keep our cursor or the pointer such that the mistaken word is on the left side of the cursor. And then, by pressing the backspace, we can easily erase the word. We can also say that the backspace key deletes the word which is just before the cursor. Now you will learn about the delete button. While typing, what is the delete button used for? The use of delete button is much similar to the backspace button while typing because as you know, the backspace is used for deleting the left side of the cursor but delete button helps you to delete the right side of the cursor. Can you all know what is the main difference between backspace and delete button? As explained earlier, backspace is used for deleting the text which are on the left side of the cursor and by using the delete button, one can delete those texts which are existing on the right side of the cursor. Can you tell why we use the enter key? We use the enter key to go to the next line. So, if we want to go from the line where we are to the next line, we will use the enter key. Now, you will learn about the arrow keys. Can you tell how many arrow keys are there and why are they used? Four arrow keys are there called left, right, up and down. Arrow keys play a vital role while typing because whenever you need to move your cursor from line to line or within a page, 
or the document as per your requirement, these keys can be used whenever required. Now, I want you all to look at the picture shown in front of you. Within the toolbox, you will find a tool marked as A. This tool is called the text tool and with its help, we can type on our paint sheet. You first have to select this tool and then in your paint sheet, take the cursor to the place where you want to write something and there click the left button. Now, whatever you type will appear in that box. You need to be careful that while you are typing, this box should not get erased. If by chance you click outside this box, this box will disappear and you will not be able to make any changes to what you have written. Let us now begin typing with the text tool. Now go ahead and type your name and the name of your school within this box. Note that you should type your name in the first line and then, and then type your school's name in the next line. Remember that to go to the next line, you will need to press the enter key once. If you have any problems to do this, see the video. It will help you do it correctly. Let us now watch this video and learn how we can use the text tool to type in our paint sheet. In order to type in our paint sheet, we first need to go to the toolbox and select the text tool, which appears like the letter A. When you come there, click with your mouse or your touchpad and you will be able to select the text tool. Once you have selected that, as is being shown in the video, Come into the drawing sheet, into the paint sheet and drag a rectangular box will appear. You will also see that a cursor starts blinking in the box. You can use your keyboard to start typing like is being shown in the video. You type the word M Y M Y and then with the space bar key leave a space. Then type the word name. Again, using the space bar key, leave a space and type is and then your name. You can put a full stop and then press the enter key to go to a new line. Type the name of your school here. I am then with the space bar key, leave a space. I am a student of and you can type your school's name or I am a student at Computer Shiksha as is being shown in the video. Once you have completed this line, you will again press the enter key to go to a new line. In the new line, in the next line, you can type your favorite subject. So you have to type MY, then leave a space using the space bar key, type the word favorite and write the, your, the favorite subject that you like. If any of you is facing a problem with typing, you can ask your teachers to help you. At the end of this line again, if you press the enter key, you will get into a new line. If you do a control A and delete, it will delete what you have written. So remember, once you delete, 
the text tool gets unselected. So if you type again, you have to select the text tool again. After having written your name, all of you click your cursor outside the box. To erase all that you have written or made in your sheet, you will need to click Ctrl plus A plus Delete. Next, you will need to once again select the text tool because whenever you do Ctrl plus A plus Delete, that tool gets unselected. After having selected the text tool, click on your sheet. And now, can you all tell what is this picture? Yes, it is a cat. So now, all of you go ahead and type cat. Then, to go to the next line, use the enter button. Look at the next picture and type elephant. Next, everyone type butterfly. And then type home. Next, use the enter button and then type car. Today's class ends here. So, all of you now properly close your file and properly shut down your systems. In today's class, all of you have learned about the keyboard, about the text tool and also learned how with the help of the text tool we can write in our paint file. You all have also learned about some of the important keys on the keyboard. The keys that we have learned about today were alphabet keys, number keys, enter, backspace and special keys, the arrow keys and function keys and the delete key. Thank you.